Hey, good morning, Brandon. Friday morning. Like I said, I want to grab you a quick video this morning of uh, selling some obedience. Uh, I'm not going to be using this food this session. I'm going to start weaning her up here slowly with the food. But again, I'm going to get a quick little video update. Sit. Good. Like I said, here we go. We're starting our training. Nice manners at the door. Yep. Start with a little bit of uh, confidence building here. Yeah, there we go. And a combo. Uh, this usually gives dogs a little bit of run for their money. What, what it, it must sound like with their nails on the aluminum. And of course, it balances it rocks back and forth. And a girl here. Here. So again, like I said yesterday, I'm not looking for any kind of perfection on the heel right now. I could tighten that up as we go. I'm just looking for her to be mentally with me, engaged with me. She's doing really nice with that. All right. Place. Down. I'm going to have her on the long line just to, for me to give some control. It gives a nice illusion to distance, if you will. Anyways, right here, you're seeing a nice little uh, downstay, if you will. Decent amount of uh, duration. Not a ton going on in the agility ring right now. We're all kind of getting fired up for the day, but there will be shortly. And uh, again, that's just going to add to the level of difficulty with her. So she's doing really nice. Here. Add a curl. Sit. Here, girl. Here, girl. Right here. And she's so bouncy. She is high octane to stud. Here. We're just keeping all that good energy reeled in. If she gets too far ahead, I'm just going to give her a couple cues in that long line to get her back in check. Place. Down. So what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a little bit of generalizing. So I'm teaching her that place is place. No matter where we ask you to do it. And down is down no matter where we ask you to do it. Down. It's right there. She's <laughs> caught wind of uh, Sheena's breakfast. Right. Down. So now I'm working her through a little bit of uh, distraction. She can smell Sheena's nice warm breakfast sandwich over there. So she's getting a bit distracted. So um, I'll take any distraction, whether it's food or dog or person. But anyways, Stella, here. Atta girl. Right here. Right here. Here. Good, sit. And again, you can tell she's still got all her good energy, all that youthful, uh, puppy uh, energy we're rocking with. So I'm not gonna take that away from her. Just wanna focus on some more productive. All right, down. That's where I ask for a lot of confidence right here. And I'm shaping that down right there with a little bit of lead pressure. Not pulling her down, but guiding her down. And she's doing good. Here we go, let's go. <laughs> okay, sit. Good girl, place. Love it. Down. Very good. So anyways, this place and down command, again, there's two commands, but I kind of pair them together. What I'm doing is really work, uh, working on some nice impulse control, uh, teaching her how to be a good um, a dog who observes versus reacts. And uh, really, this is one of the one of my more favorite commands. I take it everywhere, whether it's at, in the home or outside when I take my dogs to breweries or coffee shops or cafes, they go everywhere with me because they've got great impulse control because I can say down at any point and they go down and they're able to just hang out, watch waiters, waitresses walk by and uh, all as well. So I'd say we're rocking it with Stella. She's looking really good. All right, place. That might've been just her misunderstanding. Uh, yeah, a little, a little uh, confusion on her part. Again, the correction at this level is not really harsh. There's really the correction is me fixing her, putting her back in place saying, nope, we're gonna do it like this. So uh, anyways, we're rocking and rolling. She looks really good. And I uh, can't wait to show her off to you here in a few weeks and uh, go from there, man. Have a good weekend. Stella here. Atta girl, all right, all right, all right.